Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to read Oscar and the Frog, a book about growing by Jeff Waring. Every living thing has its own way of beginning and growing. In this story, we're going to learn about how different plants and animals begin and how they grow. Oh, on the first page here, I can see a kitten looking in the water at some tadpoles. I see a dragonfly over here, and I see a ladybug here, and I see grass. I see lots of living things in this picture. One spring day by the pond, Oscar saw some creatures he had not seen before. Frog hopped up. They're tadpoles, Frog said. I was a tadpole before I grew up. Oscar stared at Frog. He didn't look like a tadpole at all. Don't be silly, Frog, Oscar said, laughing. It's true, Frog said, and he told Oscar how frogs grow. At first, I looked like a dot in an egg. The egg was as soft as jelly, like right here. I grew in the egg and then I hatched out as a wriggly tadpole. I could breathe underwater through gills like a fish. I was hungry for pondweed. It helped me grow. Later my gills disappeared as I grew lungs to breathe air with and I grew back legs. Then front legs and my tail started to shrink. After three months, I was a little frog. I kicked my new legs and jumped out of the water to live on the bank. What else hatches out of eggs? Oscar asked. They looked in the pond. Frog showed Oscar some eggs that had been laid underwater. Many snails lay their eggs in pouches of jelly on stones or plants. Dragonflies lay their eggs on a plant stem just below the water. And fish lay lots of eggs. The perch winds hers in a long thread around plants, twigs, or stones. They looked down the bank and Frog showed Oscar some eggs that had been laid where it's dry. Many kinds of butterflies lay their eggs on the undersides of leaves. When the caterpillars hatch out of the eggs, they eat the leaves. Many birds lay their eggs in nests high off the ground. Here the chicks will be safe from animals who might want to eat them when they hatch. Ducks often nest on the ground close to water so their ducklings will be able to swim quickly away from danger. Do plants hatch out of eggs? Oscar asked. No, said Frog. Most plants sprout from seeds. Each plant makes its own kind of seed. The seeds of the apple trees are stored inside their fruit. Strawberry plants have small seeds on the outside of their fruit. Poppy plants have tiny seeds. They are light enough to be carried by the wind. Coconuts are the seeds of the coconut palm trees. They are huge and can float. Most seeds ripen above the ground, but the seeds of the peanut plant grow in the earth. Oh, there I see a mama kitten and her baby kittens. Did I hatch out of an egg or did I sprout from a seed? Oscar asked. Neither, said Frog. You were born. You looked a lot like you do now, only much smaller, with fur and paws, ears, and a tail. You were hungry for milk from your mother. Why was I hungry for milk? Oscar asked. It helped you to grow, said Frog. Milk for you, pondweed for me, leaves for these caterpillars. 
and bugs for those baby birds. We all need different food to grow. Oscar stretched. I am so big now, he told Frog. But you're not as big as you will be, said Frog. Are you? asked Oscar. Yes, Frog answered. I've stopped growing now. I'm as big as I'm going to get. How long does it take to grow up? Oscar asked. It depends, said Frog. This flower will be full grown in a few days. But this young tree won't be tall until you are a very old cat. The baby birds will be as big as their parents next spring, Frog went on, but the tadpoles will take three springs or more to be as big as I am. Each living thing takes its own time. Just then, Oscar saw that his mother was coming. What about me? He asked Frog. How long will I stay a kitten? You will be a full grown cat by winter, Frog said, as big as your mother is now. Oscar looked at his mother. She was much bigger than he was. Don't be silly, Frog, he said laughing. It's true, Frog said. Wait and see. Thinking about growing. By the pond, Oscar found out about these things. Beginnings. Living things begin in different ways. Some hatch out of eggs, some sprout from seeds, and some are born. How did you begin? You were born. On your next walk, look for living things that hatch, sprout, or are born. He also learned about food. All living things have to eat to grow, and they need different kinds of food, like pondweed for the tadpole, leaves for the caterpillar, and bugs for the birds. What helped you grow when you were very young? And what do you eat now that helps you grow now? He also learned about getting bigger. Living things grow at different speeds. Some things grow in a few days, some things grow in a few months, some things grow in a few years, and some things take many years to be full grown. How long will it take you to grow as big as your mother or father? I think it will take many years. Oscar thinks growing is great. Do you think so too? I do. This story was a great informational book. It gave us a lot of wonderful information about how things grow. See you next time.